Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series on this channel called Ovechkin's Hockey Ultimate Team. So last year I did try to do this series, but it really never kicked off, and I want to bring it back for NHL 16, so we have like two series going on our channel, Hot Roulette and Alexander Ovechkin's Hockey Ultimate Team. I think it's going to be a very interesting series for you guys to watch, and I will explain the rules just in a little bit. But there is one man trying to change this franchise around, Alexander Ovechkin. He's going to be carrying the team on his back. He's coming down from the Washington Capitals to play for the Hershey Bears to turn the franchise around and bring it to glory. But as you guys can see, our main goal right now is trying to be the Division 1 champs. And as you guys can see, right now we are in Division 10, so we got a lot of work to be put into this team. It is a fresh account, a fresh start for Alexander Ovechkin. Let's see if we can do it. So, Ovi has already been put into his main position, the first line, left wing spot, and look at that, with the captain card, he is a 93 overall with 94 skating, 95 shot, 93 hands, 93 checking, and 88 defense. That is an absolutely ridiculous card to use, especially in Division 10, so I'm very excited to try out his card. And you might be wondering why all these cards are turned over, but I did read your comments from last episode, and a lot of you guys were saying that it would make this series a lot more interesting if I actually used the Hershey Bears roster. So what I did was I went and did the collection on NHL 16. I went onto Google, typed in the Hershey Bears roster, and I tried to use as many of those NHL 16 Hershey Bears players as I could onto the team uh, that were still on the 2015-2016 roster in real life. So if there are some players missing, I really just want to leave them out because I want to give the guys that already are on the team a little bit of a chance to get some game time in. And without further ado, let's go through the players that Ovi is going to be playing with in the first episode of Ovi's Hut. So, he's going to be playing alongside with Sean Collins and Gasly on the first line. Uh, he's also playing with Brown, he's got Broda and Bork on the second. On the third, we got Byers, Stevenson, and Mitchell. And on the fourth, we got Galiev, Camper, and Walker. So, it's nothing that's standing out too much, but everybody is on the Hershey Bears roster. As you guys can see, everybody has the Hershey Bears change team on them as well. So, it does really help the chemistry by quite a bit. And moving on to the defense, we got Anus, we got Ellis, and we got Bowie on the third line. I know he's not playing on the Hershey Bears right now, but it was said that he was on the Hershey Bears roster, so I did go out into the WHL collections and pulled up Bowie uh, from the Kelowna Rockets. On the first line, we got Berg, Dofer, and we got Schmidt. I'm, I'm probably butchering these guys' name. Berg, Dofer. Uh, on the first line, uh, we also got Carrick and Landry on the second line, and like I said, Anus and Bowie on the third. So anyways, that is the team Ovi is going to be playing with. Now let's quickly go through the rules. Anyways, I did a lot of thinking about how I wanted the series to go, and uh, I wanted the series to be more like a Road to Glory series, where I actually earn the coins to buy the players on the team, and I will throw in a couple of rewards here and there that maybe you guys can suggest in the comment box below, as well as a couple ideas that I can spit out, and you guys can let me know in the comment box below. But I remember last year I made the series a little bit too fast. I pretty much had a gold team by the end of this, uh, by, by the end of the first episode. So I don't want that to happen. I want this silver team to be in my team for quite some time. So I'm going to be playing games, making it like a Road to Glory series, and actually earning the coins that I get. But if you never watched the Road to Glory series before, it'll make a lot more sense once we start playing some games, once we start buying some players for the team, and you guys can see how this team will change in the next few episodes of Ovi's Hut. Anyways, I'm going to be throwing in one reward into this series, which is basically if I can get a multiple of a 5-game win streak, so if I get a 5-game win streak or a 10-game win streak or a 15-game win streak, I can buy one 80 Sim 50 pack to uh, put onto the team that I can use for whatever I want. I think this will be a pretty big challenge for us. Uh, instead of Hut Roulette, where it's only a 3-game streak, where we already noticed that uh, we're winning 14, 15-game win streaks. I want it to be a little bit more of a challenge to get that gold pack and to improve that team. I want this team to grow just a little bit slower uh, and hopefully use as many silver players as possible by the end of Ovi's Hut. So, having said all that, our team is ready to go. Let's get this first game started, see if we can win the first game of this series. Let's go! Alright, so our first game is going to be played away. He's got Kyle Turris, he's got uh, Le Cavalier on his left wing. I think he also has Hoodler on his team, so we're also going to need to change our, uh, our camera angle here. But let's get this game going, let's see what we can do. Oh my goodness, what a goal! Alexander Ovechkin slap shots it in, making it one to nothing. He actually just did all the work 
on that play and was still able to score a goal on that one. All right, one to nothing, first period, pretty good start. Oh, another goal by Ovechkin. Oh, man, Division 10, it's going to be a little bit too easy right in the beginning, but Alexander Ovechkin already making a presence in his first game. And just like that, we are heading into the second period. And we're playing a really good game, 12 to 2 in shots. Three minutes time attack to 56 seconds. Definitely not one of the hardest opponents I've faced. So once we move up the divisions, it'll get a lot harder. But I'm liking how easy it is right now for sure. Oh, last chance for Ovi. Six seconds. Backhand it. Oh, he could have gotten the tr uh, the hat trick. The triple goal. Two, still two to nothing. Three seconds left. That was a pretty nice chance for Ovi. Oh, nice pass to Bork. The double backhand, and there it is. Bork, he's got some speed on him, and he makes no mistake on the two-on-one, scoring the backhand, forehand, or the double backhand, and we make it three to nothing. All right, and that is pretty much the end of the game. Not much offense for that guy, so there wasn't too much commentating, but that also means we're going to be winning our first ever game for Ovi's Hut, and let's take a look at the total coin reward, 974 coins. That's a lot of coins that we can buy for a new player. Unfortunately, we could not get Ovi his hat trick, but let's take a look at the stats here. 30 to 14 in shots, 8 minutes and 14 seconds time on attack to 3 minutes and 57 seconds. So just looking at the breakaways too, we absolutely destroyed that guy, and uh, it's going to be a given that for the first few games of uh, Division 10, it will be very easy, but it'll get a lot harder in the future. And let's quickly take a look at the three stars as well. Alexander Ovechkin picking up the first star, getting two goals. Dan Ellis picking up the second star, getting a 100% save percentage, getting a shuttle this game. As well as Chris Borg getting the third star with that final goal that we did score. So anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the team. Let's go buy a player as well. Alright, so welcome back to the auction house. Right now, we have just about 974 coins that we can spend on a player. And uh, the first thing I want to buy for any team is is a good center. I feel like with good face-offs, with good goal scoring right down the middle, uh, your team will improve by quite a bit. So I did some uh, gauging in the market, what players I want to buy. So I kind of did a little bit of research. Brian Boyle was definitely one of the ones I wanted to pick up, but however, he kind of expired, so there's not many cheaper ones out in the market. So instead, I'm actually going to buy Valtteri Filpula. Even though Mark Shifley is a pretty good option, Marcus Granlin is a pretty good uh, option as well. I'm not sure if that's his first name, but Valtteri Filipula has a very good skating category. I know he has some pretty good face-offs as well, so I think that's a pretty good first pickup for our team. And just like that, we are two points into Division 10, and we can keep our team rolling from there. So let's quickly look at the team as well, but we're going to move down all our centermen from Collins, Broda, Stevenson, and Camper. We're going to move them all down so we can fit in Valtteri Filipula into our new lineup. And just like that, Valtteri Filipula is now on the team playing alongside with Alexander Ovechkin and Gasly. And like I said, all those centermen have been moved down just one spot. But anyways, we have 274 coins left in our bank. So let's go start up the second game and let's see what we can do. Alright, so here we go guys. We're starting up the second game here. He's got Kadri, Lowry, and I think that was Molson on his right wing. So we're going to get this game going. We got Ovechkin ready to go again. Let's see if we can uh, score some goals here. Oh no, how'd that one go in? Dan Ellis, you gotta get that one. I'm not even sure if that's his first name, but right there he makes a one to nothing just halfway through the first period. Oh man, we gotta get that goal back. Oh no, and he gets another one with Berglund. That is a player I gotta pick up. He is just absolutely lighting it up right now on me. Oh man, two to nothing. How are we down two in Division 10? I don't even know. Alright, so that was the end of the first period, and I really gotta put on my tryhard pants now. Five to four in shots, uh, one minute and 30 seconds time on attack to two minutes and 46 seconds. So we gotta play a little bit better here. We're down by two, but we just need to get a couple goals to catch back up. Oh, in front. Oh, Camper can't finish it off. Oh, he's wide open too. Mitchell off the post. Puck chop it back in. Oh, man. Pretty good opportunity there to score, but it's going to be an icing call. Mm. 
Yes! Oh my goodness, how did that go in? Valtteri Filipula uh, shoots it, goes off someone's leg, and just goes right through the five hole of Elliot. All right, we're back up two to one, but still, we got to get one more goal uh, to at least tie it back up. So let's keep it going here. Let's not jinx, jinx it now. Yes! Oh, man, he was wide open, and we had a little lane to just skate through, and Gasly makes no mistake. Barred down. What a goal by him. And he makes it 2-2, two two, the nice tying goal right there. Filipula and Schmidt both picking up assists on that goal, but look at that goal. That was just so nice. Nice little open space. Saw the, saw the opening right there, and uh, we make no mistake. So anyways, we're tied back up 2-2. Two two. Let's keep it up. Oh man, our defense is so slow. There's nothing I can do to get back. Alright, let's see if we can set up a play there. Oh, Camper! He's open. Camper's got speed though. He's the fast fourth liner. The backhand! Oh no, he gets knocked down, but that was still a nice chance. Oh, Ovechkin gets a break! Oh no, we couldn't finish it off on the breakaway. Oh man, we gotta practice those. So many chances, but we can't get those in. Oh my goodness, and Alexander Ovechkin, he gets the leading goal. What a slap shot from the hash marks. Oh man, that was so unexpected, but he still scores the goal. Let's take a look at the stats. Is he quitting? I don't even know what's going on. Now he's not quitting, but Alexander Ovechkin gives us the lead, and now we're winning 3-2 with only one minute left in the third period. And there we have it, guys. That is pretty much going to be the end of this game, but we won with a score of 3-2. Let's take a look at our total coin reward and hopefully we get a lot more coins this time around. Alright, 1,006 coins, that's definitely not bad, but that is a pretty good start to the season. 2-0-0 record starting off. But let's quickly take a look at the stats here. 23-11 in shots, 9 minutes and 50 seconds time on attack to 4 minutes and 15 seconds just about. So, we played a pretty good game. Uh, we could have done a little bit better, but Berglund, oh my goodness, absolutely destroying me in the beginning of the game with 2 goals. Alexander Ovechkin with two points this game, getting the second star, and Valtteri Filipula also picking up two points, getting the third star. But we should have just about 1,200 coins right now to spend on a new player, so let's go back into the auction house page. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so welcome back to the auction house page. I'm only going to be buying one item right now, which is a new head coach. So, we're also getting a couple coins here and there from uh, the daily rewards, which is pretty nice. I just got a free 100 coins from EA just because uh, I logged in for today. So, that's pretty nice. But, anyways, we're buying out Skewin. He's 250 coins. So, that leaves us with about 1,130 coins. So, basically what I want you guys to do is, in the comment box below, what player should I buy on the team that's worth 1,130 coins? Or if you guys think I should be saving it up for another bigger player, uh, who should I be saving up for? The one with the most uh, liked uh, comment is the one I'm going to be choosing. So anyways, we're going to be adding in Skewin into our head coach spot. And it looks like one of our players are injured as well, which might be a little bit of a problem. And luckily, they aren't too expensive. 149 coins for that uh, arm injury healing card, which is pretty nice. God damn it, Landry, you cannot get injured now. We do not have the coins for that. And uh, those gold contracts will not be used. I, I just have them in my collection because I was transferring over some of those players from before. Anyway, that is pretty much going to end off this episode of Ovi's Hut. We got the new pickup Valtteri Filipula onto the team, but what other players should we pick up with 981 coins? You can let me know in the comment box below. Anyway, that's about it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know some more rules or anything you think about with the series. Let me know in the comment box below. I'm definitely open for more suggestions while it's still early off in this series. Anyway, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. With the coins, we can fish up. That's definitely not worth 400,000. So, if we're gonna really compare these two offers, I do like this deal compared to the current bid, but I will wait until the end of the next up, Brent.